Good morning. How's it going, John? Michael, it's not a good morning anymore. The consumer sentiment number just came out, and we are oh. rallying hard. Uh, yeah, I'm losing a lot of money right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're oh, four fifty nine. That's yeah, beautiful. yeah, yeah, yeah. We just I love... rallied hard. Yeah. <laughs> of the consumer sentiment number, I don't really know what it was. Um, but we'll try to get it for everybody when we can. But yeah, that's that's why we're rallying right now. Dude, probably was. I was like, dude, I went short the minis, and thank God I got out. <laughs> um, but that would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Um, oh. Yeah, we're rallying hard now. Dude, I no, I mean, I'm still actually, I'm still up on. You doing all right? Um, yeah, it looks like the number was probably good. Oh yeah, probably. You think? I didn't know. You think? Just maybe. I mean, you would think so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully we just, you know, gap down. This is quick. what we're doing right now. Oh, it's beautiful. I love that. I, beautiful, I yeah. Nice little push higher. Like, I, I want to see that candle right there on the left, you know, 455. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Market, this one, you know? this is a nice one right here. That's a beautiful candle right there. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm a nice gonna... one. This one, not so much for us. Um, But yeah, I guess now everything is going to be kind of... Dude. Yeah, look at the volume. Yeah, I mean, that's insane. Um, but yeah, massive volume here off this print of what the number was. I'm not really sure. We'll try to get it. We'll try to get it if we can find it. Yeah, but right um, as far as it. things moving, we got all the Bitcoin stocks up. Riot, Mark, Coinbase up. Um, all pretty big here. We got crude oil up finally, um, two and a half percent. We got the ten year up two and a half percent. Two year up two and a half percent. We're gonna talk about the jobs number that came out. Came out in the unemployment number. Um, we got Lulu who had earnings. They're actually up today, not as 473, Michael. Oh, wow. Lulu Lemon, look at this rally. Float. Yeah, yep. Look at that. So maybe we should have gone long, but. Yeah, maybe we, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have just, maybe we should have done what we did and not touched it. That would have been the best, yeah. which is what we did. Um, what else we got? We got MGM up a little bit here. Boeing, Lucid, the ARK ETF up, Devon Energy up finally. For us, we got Nvidia, Nvidia up a little bit. PayPal here up. Um, the thirty years up. Um, yeah, kind of around. We got some tech up a little bit here. Um, it kind of wraps up the upside on the downside. The VIX now down uh, two point three percent. We got Chewy down. Natural gas down. Google down today. We have some news about Google. We'll get into. Gold is down. Uh, TLT. The bonds are down. Um, Amazon down a bit here. Walmart down a bit here. And Baba, that kind of wraps it up. Uh, Apple, Microsoft, kind of flat today. Uh, but yeah, you know, here's here's this uh, consumer sentiment rally. Yeah. Um, which is, you know, what are you gonna do? I didn't really think I didn't really think we would move hard on that number. Yeah. Have we I moved mean, on that before? I think they just want an excuse to rally. To be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Um, Damn, I was gonna go long IWM this morning, and it was point, it was up point three, now it's up a whole percent. So we'll yeah. see. I still might go long, maybe not right now, but I think it's a good place. I could see a target like close to one ninety um, mm -hmm. on IWM. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, let's get into the slides. I mean, yesterday terrible day. I mean, not if you were long. Yes. But. Yeah. Um, point eight percent the SP one point three percent in the nasdaq dow was the lagger of the group um only up um about a quarter or not not even a quarter of a percent uh 0.17 percent and then the vix was actually up today although the market was up um we did see the vix up um yeah literally basically a straight up day other than that like minor pullback in the morning yeah we kind of just moved higher um and then we did get a pullback this morning off the jobs number and then we just kind of retrace that move altogether and now we're pushing higher up about a quarter percent here in the S&P. Yeah. Oh boy, we just can't get a break here. The Bears not a break. We uh yeah, it's uh been rough. That's for sure. Definitely. Uh on the TA side, I don't even know what to say at this point. You know, <laughs> we're in that confirmed uptrend at this point. Um we're still there. We actually haven't touched our expected moves for the week, which was 
pretty surprising. We, you know, yeah, we've been seeing moves. outsized moves recently on the weekly expected moves. So um, we haven't really touched oversold either. You can see on the Bollinger Bands. Um, so, I mean, we have room to go up, but I mean, obviously it's more room to go down at this point. Um, I think the only thing really holding us back at this point is a strong macro environment, which I think is what the market is starting to price in. Yeah, I think um, um, we're going to have to wait and see what the Fed does next week. I wonder what the, uh, actually, I know we have the probabilities in the, the slides, but let me check like what they are after. We're going to hold and we're going to rally. Yeah, like maybe like because in the slides we have that there's a probability of a hike and let me, I'm checking right now. 1%. Yeah, it's, it's still the same. Yeah, 1.8%. Yeah. So, I mean, but that's good for the market a hold. Yeah. I don't know. In my opinion, anyways. Um, I have a headache. Jesus, we're just rallying like why? Uh, yeah. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting to see this consumer sentiment number. But I can't I'm doing, well, I'm doing fine on the queues and I'm doing good on Devin. Spy mm. is just giving me a run for my money at this point. Yeah, dude. The queues are uh, what? Their queues are now up. I might close this right now, to be honest. Actually, yeah, I can I... roll it out to 21 days for a credit, but I don't want to. Should, you, should I roll it out to 21 days? I'm at 14. Um, Can you collect anything? Yeah, I can collect a $23 credit. All right, do it. Oh. Yeah, just keep pushing it out. Sixteen credit. What the dude? F I want to. I want to short the minis, the minis again here. Yeah, there we go. We're at right, forty six hundred on the mini, mini S and P's. SPX is at forty five ninety eight. Dude, that's crazy that we're it's about insane. to break forty six hundred on there. Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna try to roll that. And see how that goes. Um. Dude, this is crazy. Um, yeah, on the TA side, honestly, I don't know. I at this point, I don't think this is because honestly, <laughs> TA is really gonna give you that direction that you're looking for. It's more gonna give you the entrance based on your, you know, point of view. Um, and I mean, if you're long here, you know, you have reason to be long here. But if you're short, you know, same thing. I mean, I still want to see that pullback to 455, 450. That would be really nice, but who knows at this point. I agree. Yeah. All right. I'm so, going short to. I'm going to short actually, let's pull up today's heat map since that's what we're going to do. Uh, give me a second. Let's, let me share my screen. Oops. Wait, where am I? Where's stream? Today's heat map. I'm going to try to short this E mini move again. That's insane. Let me, uh, I'll share my screen. Oh, I'm gonna, I was gonna pull up the heat map, but today I see what's moving, but. Um, yeah, I just shorted here at, um, 46.03. I'm short. When did you become a day trader? Recently, dude. Ever since I'm just trying to hedge out my freaking losses. Um, Intraday. Oh, okay. No, we're coming down. No, we're I don't not. know. Maybe just try to get. I'm just gonna try to pull it back like right here and quick little scalp if we can get it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, let's see what's moving today. Pull up. Uh, pull up my screen. Let's see. I mean, relatively go. flat. It doesn't look like a great day. So, what's pushing the S and P right now is a good question. I don't know. We have some news on Google. Well. Yeah, we... Google is up or down, but Apple and, and Apple, they're all up now. Oh, they are? No, this is, well, let me see. It might be a little delayed. I don't think it caught yeah. this move, but like Microsoft's up. Um, like the most of tech is up now. Energy's up. Before. We saw that today with oil moving up. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, looking at this, what would you along? Yeah. <laughs> like... At this point, everything. If we're gonna break out of this for four sixty, four six forty six hundred, like SPX is literally at forty six hundred now. Oh, so we're at four sixty and yeah, we're we're at no, we're at four fifty nine eighty one. So yeah, I mean basically. I want to see if we reject four sixty because that would be definitely a key level. Let me chart that actually. Four sixty. 
Yeah, I want to see that. It's a nice, like, round number. It's something like a mental bear, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a mental it's a mental number. Um, so, we're, we're close. We're, we're pushing really high up the open, so. All right. Dude, um, this is crazy. All right. Um. Yeah. What else? We like, got? maybe we what'd don't you, sit here all day and. What do you do? Good. Where'd the slides go? What are you talking about? Oh, you just like unshared. Okay, there we go. Lula earnings. Yeah, they beat uh, bot, bot, top and bottom line, but they did they did give a poor holiday like season guidance. Yeah. Um, and then that's I think that's why um we got that move, and then now we're I mean we're up today now in it. Um, yeah. We're up almost three percent, um, in that. Uh, but yeah, they get numbers. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing really else. I mean, they didn't give good guidance for the holiday season. Um, but I mean, I have a Lulu gift card, so I will be going there very soon. Dude, I feel like half of Wall Street wears Lululemon. Let's be real. Yeah, they were Patagonia. Oh, that's true. We should. Look. Yeah. How is Patagonia stock? We should trade that. Mm, I think. Uh, probably owned no, by someone. They, yeah, they're yeah. Probably owned by someone. Um, so yeah, this morning we had U.S. payroll rose by two hundred thousand in November. Uh, unemployment rates fall to three point seven. There was an expected of three point eight. With that, ten-year Treasury um, jumped. So quite interesting. Yeah. John, what's the ten-year at right now? Uh, four point. The ten-year futures at ten four point two two four point two. Oh. It's, down. Up to nine percent. What oh. do you mean down? I mean it's down. Yeah, from it's been whacked the whole month basically. Last time I saw it was like four point four. I mean, if you were long TLT in this time, you're printing. Yeah, it was at four point four back in like week. November, end of November. Yeah. Wow. Jeez, that's uh, that's rough. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, things happen. You need to position yourself accordingly for the market. Um, honestly, don't chase trades on it let them flow don't do what i'm um, doing don't day trade i mean do what don't, you day, want. don't day trade no you can scalp a little bit i mean like i like i like just fading these like these massive moves and then like these little a, quick these quick little rallies to scalp like a, a few points and a bar and then, you yeah, know, yeah yeah i mean i'm up i'm up on this uh i mean yeah right now 50 50 we just get like a small little pull i mean we just i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know, I don't know. What what else? But, um, I got some news. Yeah, so go. Lou Lemon, like John said, uh, gave poor gave poor guidance on holiday season. Uh, Amazon they were down this morning, but should be back up at this point. Uh, they are still down. Really? I thought they're, it was very well. They're like flat. They're flat. They're flat. They're you know CEO said AI and they didn't go up, which was like a new <laughs> for the market, yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I thought this was very interesting, especially, you know, AI is definitely going to have a huge effect on, you know, the workforce, you know, a lot of these companies. But think about it in terms of Amazon, right? Like their ads are already so good. Like the ads they give you, I want to buy almost all the things they recommend to me. Yeah, Imagine I mean, they're just AI stuff. with all your information. Oh, dude, you should watch this. Um, I was watching it last night. This new Netflix series, it's called uh, Super Pumped. It's about uh, the story of Uber. But it's like with actors. It's really good. You should check it out. I was watching it last night. It's really good. It's basically the story of Uber. Um, it's like a mini series. It's like seven episodes. It's like the story of Uber. And then like they talk about like Amazon in there a little bit. Um, it's really cool. But um, I also saw something about um, on Twitter that um, AI is going to... Uh, make um, doctors and lawyers free one day, like in 10 years. Interesting. I don't know why. I don't know. I just saw it on Twitter. I, don't, I just saw it on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, inflation expectations plunge in closely watched survey. So that's why. Okay, wait, let me read this real quick. Yeah, but it says, it says in the latest University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey, the one year outlook for inflation rate slipped to 3.1% down sharply from 4.5 percent in november the five-year outlook also moved lower down to 2.8 percent from 3.2 percent i don't understand that's all like um bs it's all like assumptions outlook like that's what i'm saying it's like implied volatility <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bs 
<laughs> Fugazi, um, Fugazi. Fugazi, Fugazi, yeah. Um, 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 yeah, so interesting that we're rallying off that. Yes. Uh, what am I looking at? Yeah. All right. UK. So apparently, is Microsoft up or down? I thought it was down this morning when I looked at it's this. It's now up. Yeah. So basically, after all the situation with the open eye turmoils, um, and the CEO getting fired, rehired, board getting fired, all this crap. Uh, you know, they're still going into some, like, I guess, lawsuit with the UK is like looking into them. I don't know. Mm. Very weird. I think it was more of like a antitrust kind of situation, but when I got from it. Yeah, UK, yeah. I, I don't look too deep, but um I like this one though, Mark Cuban. Uh, yeah. he's considering his next gamble off to sell so he sold his like his whole portion NBA of the team. Yeah, yeah. Dallas Mavericks. Yes, and he then did. apparently he's buying land in like this rural town in Texas. I believe it's Mustang, Texas. Let me see. Yes, I did see that. Yeah, yeah. So what um, do you want to build there? Okay, so the the theory is so you know how he has this uh what do you call it? Pharmaceutical company? Yeah. That like you can get like cheaper medication and it's literally yeah, the same yeah, yeah. thing, whatever. Um, right. That that's he's gonna build like the headquarters there because dude, must think Texas is so cheap. Oh, okay. <laughs> like it's in the middle of nowhere. Nobody wants to be there. It's right outside of Dallas, near mm -hmm. Waco actually. So it's literally the middle of nowhere. Oh, Waco, Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. So interesting pharmaceutical. Yeah, uh, I was surprised when he sold. I mean, he's basically the one that like turned that team around. The whole franchise. the ROI he made on that is insane. Yeah, he made a he made a crap ton of money on that team. I think he bought um, it for like two hundred million or something. Yeah, he he's, how much he sold it for? Sold it for a like few three billion. billion. A few billion, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Good for him. Yeah, good for no, him. The guys, G. Yeah. All right, Hunter Biden indicted on tax evasion charges. What else is new? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, get away with it like always you know yeah i don't this guy's don't always mean... uh clowning around with um with these uh, with these charges he's always doing something wrong i mean it's not anything new i feel like at this point so i just thought it was kind of funny to throw in there um yeah. let's see what else we got all right this is some cool stuff tell me about this yeah. one john Disney is announcing plans to develop a residential community in North Carolina. Um, so I guess they're building cities now, or not? No, cities, not like a hotel. Like you're talking no, a yeah, community. it's like it's like a community. So like uh, people like I guess they're gonna buy land, build some houses, maybe build some apartments, and then sell them. They're getting into more real estate, I guess, but more like building. I don't know. They're going to put like a Mickey Mouse in every house. I don't know. What That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't want to <laughs> live with a, like it's yeah. like a, a Mickey Mouse down the no, street. No, they're going to build the Mickey, uh, Mickey Mouse clubhouse for all the, the all the, um, or well, there's just like the people Mickey that move Mouse statues and like Donald Duck statues. Just yeah. yeah. Block. That'd like, be really funny though. But like all these crazy Disney fans are going to, if they build something like very, um, Disney like, like they put a bunch of characters in there or something. All these Disney fanatics are gonna go crazy, and then dude, I think that's the there. biggest red flag. Like, <laughs> what? Like the if you're crazy about Disney? No, but like those, like I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say it because who knows? So I think, but whatever. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, good for Disney. I think it's definitely a good play business wise, right? I think you know, yeah. real estate's definitely a great market for them, and if they have that niche audience, but. I don't. I think they're a little too niche with their audience, especially if they're gonna do like Disney houses, right? Like, yeah. Just I don't know. Nice I don't know the details. I, I don't know the details of what they're gonna build. Um, it just it just said like residential communities. So, I mean, yeah, it doesn't look we're like just a Disney houses house. and apartments. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. I have no idea. And then the best news of it all so far. I mean, you didn't want to put this in, but I think this yeah. is the most important news to come out today or yesterday night. GameStop's potential new strategy: buy other stocks. GameStop company cash. Start trading. Uh, so is that legit? Like, is that real? 
Dude, it was on a ton of uh, different news. news uh, so they're just going to let this Ryan Cohen guy. Okay, so they're saying uh, they're letting him invest funds in, yeah, in stocks. That's, that's, so they're literally turning into a trading firm. Dude, I mean, and granted, yes. I mean, I think get hired at GameStop to be a trader. Dude, That'd I think lit. that would be, <laughs> that'd be lit. You work for GameStop, you're a trader. It's like, the, we're going to have this whole frenzy, this meme stock shit again. GameStop, hit me up, I can lose your money for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, dude, watch him just watch him take the dude. Watch him take the company bankrupt. Like, oh, GME's down today. Like, yeah, dude, does great, he know what he's yeah. doing? Who's his? I don't even know what the, his guy's background is. I mean, let's look him up. Let me see. see. Uh, Ryan Cohen College. He oh, he's Jewish from Montreal. What does this have anything? He to didn't. Do get, with- oh, he oh here. Listen to this. He never went to college. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> so he definitely knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the CEO of the company. Yeah, he's a CEO. He is a CEO. He was CEO of Chewy. Oh, no, he founded Chewy. Oh. He founded Chewy, and then he went to GameStop. Doesn't this give you hope that anyone is a CEO? Yeah. I mean, yeah, dude. Anybody? Well, I mean, he did start, like, a billion-dollar business, but... um, He started a business to sell dog toys. How innovative are you? Well, he now you're gonna start trading. What do, what does he know? <laughs> hey, maybe, maybe he knows something. I don't know. All right, but Google, yeah. um, dude, this is crazy. That's why they're down so much today. This broke like two hours ago. Um, mm. the Gemini demo was faked. Yeah. But who's TC? Uh, TC per, I don't know, some news source. Um, Google is down today. Well, it was down a lot more, but it's only down yeah. half percent now before this rally. Um, I mean, yes. that's definitely not good news. I mean, the stock rallied off the Gemini situation. Yeah. Um, I mean, talking AI, you know, anything's going to move. But yeah, this is real big, especially with spaked. Because then I guess they're like kind of misleading investors. Oh, we broke 460. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, sorry, I, just had to ch- I see it on my screen right here. I got a notification. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Let's reject it hard. How about that? No, we're not though. We're kind of. We're not. We're not though. We're not though. No one minute. <laughs> so, oh god, am I losing this money? So bad. This is so, bad. This is so bad. Yeah, I'm losing money. God, I just need one like one one day of like just down movement, and we'll never get it. I'm gonna have to That's close this need. buy position. I'm not gonna lie. What? It's gonna bankrupt me. Um. No, no, no. Just take the risk. What do you mean? I don't know. Take some risk. Yeah, let's do it. You know, I'm like, almost a max loss, anyways. You know, exactly. <laughs> yeah, just let it ride. Keep rolling. That's crazy. You I can't was looking roll at. Um, All right. I was looking at um, Tasty on Twitter. Like, uh, Mikey Butler had a trade. It was a yeah. three-year. It was a three-year DraftKings trade. Was it a warrant? Three-year DraftKings trade. Like it took him three years to scratch it, like to basically break even no way rolling and roll yeah i saw it on twitter i was like well that's insane i don't know if i would i don't know if i would have the patience to keep on three rolling years that. yeah wait hold on can you pull up this uh i kind of want to see this can you pull up the thread oh, i don't i let me let me try to find it i mean i can find it i follow him yeah same but let me um Let's see if I can find it. Uh, GME, let's see how Google. Uh, here, I got it. All right, share your screen. Let me share it. Um, this one. Go on it. Uh, I teach you, this has been an insane ride from 45 to 70, 70 to 12, back to the mid 30s. Green scratch. Three year long drafting straight. He's going to give a, I guess he's going to give a full anatomy of it later. Isn't that crazy? Dude, that's pretty crazy. So it was, was basically, a... it was a covered, it was, I guess it was a covered call. Yeah, it was a covered call, I guess. Interesting. Um, 
Yeah, it was a covered call. You just and kept telling covered call. Green scratch. Yeah, I mean, kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, wow. yeah, I was like, "Whoa, dude!" I don't know if I could. I don't know if I'd have the patience to ride that out. You so know. you're saying if I keep selling call spreads, I'll be good. I, I, you can back test it. <laughs> so what I'm hearing, actually, I did, and the win rate is not great. Selling call spreads long term, like just repeatedly. Yeah. Well, yeah, because the market goes up, there's an upward okay, drift yeah. in the long term. Yeah. If you were selling yeah. puts, put spreads or puts, it would probably work. It's right? Honestly, the put spread still isn't even that great. What do you mean? I think you have the best with the strangles when I looked. Well, yeah, because then you get you kind of get both sides. Um, yeah. Where you can profit off. Yeah. But your max we are rejecting crazy on the strangles. We are rejecting 460. I just want to point that out. 460? Like 460.33, we're we coming down a little bit here. Dude, we came up to 460.39, and now we're back at 459. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Dude, Whatever. I mean, in the Let's span just let it of... Play out. It's, no, no, in the span of two hours exactly, we have a basically five dollar spread. In the span of two hours. Yeah. Dude, it's I don't crazy. know. This market is uh maybe we're ready for the Santa rally. Maybe we gotta get long here. I don't know. Dude, I whatever. We'll see. Um all right. So this was yesterday taken the uh, Fed rate hike. This is last rate. night at like this is last night at like eleven o'clock. At night. Yeah. Yes. And then. Oh, I thought you were going to go. Oh, no, no. Go to the next slide. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. Oh, so <laughs> it was a 98.6% hold, 1.4 cut. And then after this morning, it was 98.2 hold, 1.8 hike. So, wait, check it again right now because after the consumer sentiment, honestly, it might have changed. I Well, that's what I did, and then it didn't It didn't move. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, it did? Yeah, it didn't move. It's like 1.8% of a hike. Yeah, it, yeah, it's still. Okay. But, yeah, very interesting. Um, hmm. We'll see if we hike. Probably not. I mean, probably saying no. But No, we're definitely not going to hike the next one. No way. I don't think they're either. They're probably not gonna. They keep saying that there's still hikes on the table, but like I feel like they're just saying that. They're 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 lying. They're liars. They're lying. They're lying. I don't know why. Like Jerome Powell is a liar. Yeah. <laughs> He's put me on record saying that. Yeah. Um, um, no, agreed. What's this? All right. Here's our here's our one hour spy. Clearly, this is already wrong because we just broke four sixty. So, let's just uh, completely ignore this. No, I mean, we, we came back down, though, so... I mean, yeah, but, like, this was just... I mean, technically, we did... I think the like range is 460 to, like, 461 on the upper band. It's not, like, a specific point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Range. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just found it on Twitter. I was like, this trend, these trend spider people are always, like, graphing. They're always, like, trying to predict the future. They're, like, always wrong, though. I'm They're sure. always wrong. They're always wrong. Not ah. always wrong, but I like looking at their stuff. That's the problem. When you look at it, you're like, oh, wait, this could probably happen, but like, yeah, no, and it never does. <laughs> no, it never does. <laughs> so it's just a stupid thing to look at. Oh, uh, um, dude, today's a terrible day. Jeez, I know, I know. Wow, all I'm right, just what else? A lot of money. It's okay, just ride it out. <laughs> ride it out. All right, John, what is this? Are you saying we're gonna fall? Yes. This is what I was telling you yesterday. Um, Dude, it's gonna happen. I don't know if it was on stream or not, but uh, it was like I was looking at July and like the same kind of pattern that we're having now, like was going on. So I was like, maybe, you know, and we did need like two more green candles after that red bar or like two or three yeah. to get like that down move. And we're getting an update today. So maybe this is what we need to continue lower. I maybe you know i is this trend spider yeah they're wrong <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> it's trend spider oh yeah yeah okay so it's probably wrong so it's probably wrong. wrong yeah it's probably wrong um uh, oh this was from goldman sachs okay so this is interesting because you told me something different this morning but 
Goldman Sachs this morning. Yeah, you told me something different this morning. But Goldman Sachs basically posts their or at least yeah, they're so like <coughs> um, so there's hedge fund positions or like not even hedge fund all time like everyone is oh. low long term um, yeah on the Russell yeah yeah the least exposure to the Russell in a long time so very interesting Wait, but, but no but I was telling me the the call to put ratio was at all time high. Yeah, but that doesn't mean yeah, but that doesn't mean the long. Sh- that's different from the long short ratio. Mm. Long short is the actual the actual like underline. Or something called call all time high. Yeah, it was the call. It was the call. The put call ratio, um, mm. in general, or the call the call the call um, the call volume open interest is at an all time high. All right, we're back up. Open interest, back yeah, up. yeah. We're back. We're up. back up. We're back down, but yeah. I um, mean, yeah, I'm up. You're down. Uh, I'm actually making some money on this little micro EV scalp. Um, dude, oh, yeah, like I'm playing just, again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is did you put you put this one in there? I did put this one in. Um, I to be on. Is that a bull, like a bull flag? flag. Yeah. yeah. I can definitely see 190 though for sure. That's what I was thinking too. 190. Um, what's okay. it at right now? Let's see. 187. I would not go long here. <laughs> you just said you just said you could see 190. It's up a percent today. I'm not gonna follow that. Come on. Why? Look uh, at that big red bar or big green uh green bar. Can yeah, I mean that's a that's you are, a pretty, you're not gonna follow that that thing's up what four percent, three percent? You're not gonna follow that's a pretty that. Pretty nice way. candle if you and then you would have made another you would have made another two percent the next day. That's a pretty nice candle. It is, it is a nice candle. But now you know. Not my kind of candle. No. All right, let's get into some trade. Actually, do you want to go to Twitter? Thirty minutes. You want to get to? Yeah, yeah. Go to Twitter, and then we'll go to we'll go to trades. Um. Oh fuck! Dude, dude. Dude. Um, pull back. Okie right. dokie. What is happening? We have one hundred and five posts. Oh, look, Oreos. You love these. Yeah. Guys, I made Michael Oreo balls for the first time. Um, was, they weren't good. They were the I worst. made Michael Oreo balls for the first time. Uh, what was it? Was it last I week? Or the, I think it was on Sunday or Saturday. And he was like, he's never he never had an Oreo ball in his life. I mean, he made them with mayonnaise. And he so said, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. And he said it was the, the, the best thing he's ever had in his life. Those words did not come Quote out of my mouth. Quote, unquote. Nah. So I'm gonna make him some more Oreo balls later. That's crazy. Um, I mean, can we? Who owns Oreo? Let's go. Let's long them. It's um. It's um. The uh. What's it? Canagra band? Is it? Who? No, no, no. It's something with an M. Mondelez. Mon, yeah. Mon, Mon, yeah, Mon, Mondelez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mondelez. Yeah, Mondelez. Yeah, yeah. Call them up. Stock. Call them they up. Have a stock. MDLZ. They're down to All right. Buy it. All of it. Let's. See. I want to look at the year-to-date performance. Yeah, I'll show my screen. Okay. Um, the stock. Bang. Uh, they're edging higher. Yeah, probably because of me. <laughs> Dude, me I mean, all the Oreos. The past, let's see, year to date, they're up seven percent. It's not bad. Oh, look, yeah. they're from Chicago, Illinois. Wait, where is yeah, it? they yeah. are. In, they are in Chicago. They are in Chicago. That's why you like Oreos. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're actually a me- I think they're a Mexican uh like descent company, I wanna say. I mean, are you just assuming? No, 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 no. I, I yeah, actually did like say. I remember no no, I, I remember in, in high school I did like a little project on them, I think. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's crazy. What about Nestle? How's how do they compare to Nestle? Nestle is also Nestle also used to have an office in uh right right um uh, in Chicago, I think. Well, they're down Nestle. year to date and year. So, uh, where's Nestle going? headquartered? Starbucks is also down year to date. Actually, you know what I was looking at? Target. Because I like Target. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they're on Nestle. Target's right? been, uh, been on a nice little rally here. But year to date, look at them. They're down 10%. This is a stock going to 2024 that I would honestly want to own. Yeah, I mean they're they're cheap, dude. I mean they've been sold off a ton. Bear um, put spread, interesting. 
All right, I'm closing out my my e mini. I made about a hundred bucks, I think. Pull up on screen. Uh, pull up my why? I need to prove it. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here, I'll pull my. I mean, I'll share my screen. No, no, it's it's okay. No, no, like, no, 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 no. I actually made it. I'm actually deep. happy because I actually made a good trade for once. It's not that deep, you know. No, it's pretty deep. I mean, look. The Hold only on, me... look. If you're gonna be a degenerate trader, the only benefit I can Dude, tell you, on, like, yeah, is that you will take uh, losses, and that'll be good for your taxes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Lost us off. Wait, I'm trying to uh, share my screen here. Oh, there we go. You're on there Amazon. we go. Damn, I got it. I got. Uh, yeah, I got it. All right, here. I mean, do I need to prove it? I mean, prove there. it. There you go. What about it? No, that doesn't look like. Oh, one yeah. two. Oh, you're lying. Yeah. You said a hundred. I literally called. I called this move. Actually, I entered right in here, and then I and then I got. I could have probably should have gotten stopped right here, but I just wrote it. Caught this whole move. Huh? I exited like right here. Interesting. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. And now we're getting. Yeah, I mean, we're we did reject the 460. I'm just saying. You should have showed it 460. Caught the top. I should afford it. Yeah. No, we'll take it. We'll take because I needed one of these like. Cause, dude, like I was, where's my, yeah, like I was down so much in that product. From I look, IWM's only up 0.73 now. You see, I told you I shouldn't have gone long at that point. Told you. Wait, what is uh, uh, 42 days out? Let's see, 127. That's not bad for a four dollar spread. Now it's a five dollar spread. Let's see. So I kind of want to put on some um, some long ball trades. Um, thing is, I need to add some long deltas. Uber, Uber is a hundred, dude. I cannot believe Uber is a hundred and eighteen billion dollar company. It blows so my mind. The last night? No, no, no. I was just on Netflix because I haven't watched like TV in a long time. So I'm like, oh, maybe there's something good. I watched like the trailer of it, and it looked yeah. like really good. Then I started watching. It, I was like, wow, this is pretty good. You know what's crazy though is that um, every time I get, I feel like I get in an Uber. The Uber driver is yeah. always complaining about Uber. He's like, "Yeah, they don't they don't pay us." Yeah, 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 yeah. No, dude, you gotta watch it. It's actually really interesting. Like the way they started, and the way um, they had a lot of like regulation against them, and that they were fighting and all this stuff, and they just kind of pushed Can through we it. Can we the trailer, or will we get copyright? We'll probably get copyright. Yeah. So interesting. I mean, what an innovative company for sure. And they definitely had a lot of uh, issues going. Whoa, whoa, dude! Whoa. I don't know what here. I'm gonna. Where are you going? Off. My screen share is like not working. Let me try it again. I I was saying tasty. No, I know it's like I literally am not able to share my screen. I don't know why. Hold on, let me try to figure it out here. Um, do you have the? Can you pull up your tasty? My literally not letting me share my screen. Yeah, give me a second. Let's see. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, give me a second. Let's see. It's being really weird. But yeah, I mean, what scalped a little bit out of those. Um, what? There it is. Sure. Was able to make a little bit from that E-mini scalp. You see? Um, yeah, yours is also much clearer. Yeah, because I got... It's called yeah, my ethernet, ethernet dude. My ethernet cord was so small, couldn't connect it. Wait, let's see. It came, Show it it come, it's coming today. Shush. Yeah, you said that for the past two weeks. It's coming today. This is it. This is it, bro. This is what this is what came. I was a little upset, but the the yeah. new one came I, in today. I, I got a six up. foot ethernet cable. Play dude, with this me. is literally one foot. I don't know what this. What is this? This doesn't six reach to my foot. wall. Like, like the whatever. yeah. Was, right. I should have known because it was one dollar, and um, no, that's now crazy. I Did you now buy I know to look at the size. Really? Of, what? You buy it on Timu? No, bro. I bought it on <laughs> on Amazon. That's crazy. All right, show me you some trade TikTok ideas, shop. Man. What? Shop. Tick, buy it on TikTok shop. Oh no 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 no. 
No, I did not. I did not. All right. Dude, Walgreens has been going on a tear. Dude, I know, and I have a uh, uh, strangle in there. Yeah, I that's need sad. To roll the, uh, um, I should save. need to roll the put setup. Let's look at these. This was just a kind of a biatch to get out of. Really? Uh, yeah. I'm still holding the short puts. Damn, you can collect this much. Damn. Damn, yeah. Dom, that's a lot. Damn, Daniel. Sell a call. Five bucks. Interesting. Um, let's do a... What does a strangle look like? I'm, can you look at a... Uh, what am I... Dude, I don't like this new tasty thing where you cannot... Where it doesn't pull up the... When you look at the curve, it shows your P&L on the top now. What? Like, it shows your P&L on the top. Honestly, Instead of like it, not... Remember, it used to pull up that little box? Yeah. I don't know why. I like the little box. I don't really understand why they changed Jibble's it. flat today. Let's see... Uh, and Huge case down I need like a. Oh, I need to get some long volatility. Um, so let's go low IVR then. Why don't you go long no. Tesla, long IW? No, I. I'll go mm -hmm. long Tesla. I don't. Want, I don't, I don't want the position to be too big. I'm gonna do a Google. Google has, dude. It's thirteen. Ah, I guess it's thirteen. Yeah. 137 will buy about CRM. It's negative IVR. <laughs> CRM? Yeah, Salesforce. Is it really? Yeah, look. I'm going to do this Google trade. Dude, look at Salesforce. Your long volatility. All right, I'll look at Salesforce right now. Let me, I'll put that Google order in and then Salesforce. Yeah, but the, the I don't want to, I don't want to add short deltas here. I don't need them. Add long deltas. I could do put, uh, what did I just, well, 247 and a half now. Let me see, let me see. If I do the 245, sell the 245, buy the 245. And, uh, there is no 245 in January, that's a problem. Mm. I need to sell the 250, buy the 250. Do it. I will. Cool. All right, let's see what else there is out there. I mean, Uber. Well, Uber. How are we feeling about Uber? Uber Eats? Are they even liquid? I don't know. Uber is liquid. Yeah, it's a hundred eighteen billion dollar company. Dude, relax. Relax. It doesn't mean they're actively traded. No, they they trade a lot, dude. They trade uh five million shares today so far. Dude, I'm gonna trade them. Do it. No, I will. All right, I'm All not right. gonna do this. I'm not gonna do this here. Why oh, you're scared? I'm not really getting uh filled here. You're scared? Yeah, there isn't a ton of volume. It sounds like you're scared. I'm scared. I'm not gonna do it. I'm no, scared. Yeah. You're scared on Google but... or of <coughs> course. No, Google I put on. Oh. Dude, there's not a lot of volume on Uber either. Look at these contracts. Four people, two people, one person. Jeez. Um yeah, we're not we're not doing those. Um Yeah, they're they're uh, I guess there's a ton. Oh, I think those five million shares sure did. AMC? What about AMC? No. What are you gonna Nvidia? do? Nvidia. Nvidia. Let's do strangle, maybe. No, no, no. Nvidia is too low. You can't do anything in there. Um, you need you need to look at the ones with like Robinhood. Like Robinhood, you could do something. The thing's been um killing it lately. Mm, Robinhood's be been up short. a lot. Oops. I want to be short. You want to add short deltas, or you want some long? I deltas? want long deltas, but I want to be short volatility. Okay, then you got to do it in, in like Robinhood. You got to do it in DocuSign, JetBlue, BMY. Look at BMY. I have a position on BMY too. Bristol Myers. Yeah, no, there's nothing here. BMY? Yeah. BMY. Bristol Myers. The IVR of 59. 60, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing? Show puts spread. You want to be long? Yeah. 
Well, there's nothing Actually, here. Let me see what I have. I have a... There's nothing spread. here. What do you mean, nothing? If Still I do total. add the money... No, no, no. You can do... I have the 47.49. I'm going to do the 51.46. Why? Why would you do <laughs> that? No, 47.49. Do 47.49. It's kind of trash. Sell two of them. Sell two of them. Oh. Hold on. How do I do that? Quantity? Yeah. That's still kind of trash. Why? It's not awful. It's not great. No? Okay. Um, yeah, neither are my positions right now, though. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, dude, I don't know. Uh, let's go into Twitter. I don't know what to trade at this point. Um, okay, we're chopping around here at 458 on SPY, 485, 90 on SPX. Um, chopping around after this rally. We're kind of like right where we were when we rallied off of it. Um, it's like a... Dang, 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 dude. This Coinbase is moving up again. You know. God. God, 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 God. Google, Pull Google, up, Google. Uh, my screen. All right. That's um, how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> green can, green candles, coming into your house. Oh my God! Destroying your house. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. All right, wait. I see. What's this? Retail traders and traders and investors bought six point eight billion of equities for the past week. Highest weekly inflow since position is that's not lying. Lot. That's a lot of money. In 2022, all indices fall right after the largest inflow. All right, we're staying short. We're staying short. Why? Why? Look, he just said it. What do you mean? In March 2022, all indices, all indices fell indices. right after the largest. Oh, she. Okay. This is the largest inflow. All right. Short of everything right now. Do it. Costco. I think I'm already short. I can't really. Costco, they have earnings next week. No. Yes. On, on Thursday, they have earnings. You want to do something Costco? Dude, look how much they've already rallied. You have to go long. Costco? You have to, yeah. Why? Because you shop there? Yes. It's the best company in the world. It's not the best company. It is, it is the best company. Do. Dude, IVR is going to huh? go up this, the closer you get to... No, um, it's already high enough. It's already high enough. It's going to go higher. It's only at it 33. It's a no, it's but it, look at... look at Go to their IVR chart. No. Their IVR is... The tops out at like 37 over the past year. Dude, you must be tripping right now. It tops out Dude. at 50. What do you mean? No, look at the middle line. Don't look at just the red line. Mm. Look at between uh, them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Fine. Um. No, you could do something in there. I don't. I would only lean long because I love the company and they they make money. They, they don't make, make a lot money. of money. They make a lot of money. John, they they don't they're like the least profitable company I know. Are you serious? Are you joking? Yeah. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Dude, apparently a ton of people were going to Costco during Black Friday and just buying the whole store. And I was like, they weren't even having crazy sales. It's like food. Well, they, they, because everything is, is basically on sale every day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude, a hot dog, there's $1. Do you want to go to Costco and go get a hot dog right now? Do an IRO oh, stream? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, know, we, whoa. I don't have, I don't have a, I don't have a Costco card. Wow, I thought you were the biggest Costco. No, 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 no. I use my family, my parents' family plan. They actually they have to give me a card. But I am on the plan. I just don't have a card. I don't think you are. Bro, it's kind of crazy. My dad walks in there. You know, when you walk in there, you got to show your, like, you got to show your card to, like, the yeah. guy who's standing there. My dad walks in. He's got it, like, he's got it in his wallet. Just, like, the first thing there. So he comes in, flaps the wallet, and he's like, you're good. I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> Isn't it wild? That is wild. My dad, they know my dad there. My dad's there every day. Why? Dude, I don't know. It's a problem. He's there every day. I think He's it's there a, every go, single day. It's like long, me at Whole Foods. I'm at Whole Foods every day. Go long Costco. Go long FedEx. The thing is like, dude, actually, should I buy it? Oh, I'm not going to buy it today. It's up. Oh, it's actually flat today. But it's been like, it's been killing it all year. You can buy this thing. You can buy McDonald's and like, you'll always make money pretty much. 
because like these things are just oh, recession proof. Is that financial There's, advice? No, it's not financial advice. But <laughs> um, I like I like Costco and McDonald's as long term plays because they're recession proof. People still shop there during uh, recessions. Which are we in a recession? Not really, right? No, dude. Tech is rallying. Yes. <laughs> Where so, are you getting this? We're in a recession. No, are we going into recession? Oh, I mean, if we start cutting, yeah. Don't okay, you but think- historically, the only reason we've cut is because we're Brandon. What's up? Trade idea over the weekend. Hey, Brandon. SP XSP Iron Condor. Okay, let's look at that. What's XSP? Mini S and P. It's the it's a mini S and P five hundred. You can't trade it, but you can trade the options. Uh, what is what expiration are we in, uh, Brandon? Are we doing a are we doing a, a three day? 454 456 let me see i think he's doing the three day yeah wake up with uh 25 cents on monday yeah a little 25 dollar profit there 462 464 um yeah he left 50 cents it's a good trade i like it Same. it's uh thing is there's so i i don't know over the weekend, a lot of risk, but overnight you will wake risk, up. For sure, you will. You will. It's not even just overnight; it's just the the weekend risk. But yeah. you do have a. You will get the massive um, time decay from it. True. So, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, Brandon, how's your RUN doing? Run. It's been kind of chopping around here a little bit. IVR is still elevated a little bit um but all right this costco yeah i'm not gonna touch it but i do like the stock a lot facts Facts, all right let's keep moving and see what we got going on here one of the fundamental principles of technical analysis the markets and assets alternate between periods and contractual and expansion between measurements bridge bands so I seem shocked to see some explosive movement plus or minus in the near future. I that's so helpful, dude. Wow. <laughs> plus or minus you're gonna see oh, a big this chart. This chart I was looking at earlier. I the, should the, we do some really long are. straddles? No. I'm thinking we should do some. You are the one that doesn't like to buy options. Yeah, but it's a straddle. Yeah. So you're buying two options. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, like you're buying two at the money options. Yes, maybe a strangle wow. a little cheaper, but well, this guy just said there's gonna be an outsized move. I mean, who knows? Who said that? I don't know. One of those. Two. Oh, this this Twitter guy. Oh, don't trust people on Twitter. I've learned. No, no, no. I, I, you know, I have a better day when I don't look at people on Twitter memeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because especially if I'm losing money on that day, I could just get clowns, and I yeah, I am exactly. 3DT exactly. risk 50 to make 50. I do them almost every day. Interesting. Definitely 12 and a half put in RUN. Still in it. Are you in uh January? I'm assuming you're in January. Yeah, still got a lot of time. <laughs> um, that is for oh. sure. Um. Are you in? Yeah. I'm holding on to my safe puts here. I'm up 53% in the seven and a half puts, up 33% in the 10 puts. I'm holding on. Did I? IVR close, is still very like, high. Go. Yeah, IVR is still elevated, so I don't want to close it just yet. Took profit, got out of there ASAP. It was so illiquid to get Let's out. Say, I'm going to hold them till 21 days, and then if, if IVR is still high, I'm just going to keep rolling them. That's crazy. Um, what's it called Brandon? Are you long or short right now? We're we're doing a quick poll, you know, like we're doing a quick poll. Quick poll. Please, please say short. <laughs> no, no, say say what you need to say. Say what you, say what you need to say. Oh no, my um, god. So I don't know, dude. At this point, oh, this guy saying Solana will have liftoff. Interesting. Should we go long Solana? What? You're long what? Bitcoin. <laughs> Okay, so this is my theory. I mean, if you're I just long buy it. Coin, yeah. Buy some like small cap coins or like mid cap 
did you'll make instead mm-hmm. of like if Bitcoin's up two percent? Yeah, yeah, make- you'll make like ten. You'll make like ten x versus like two x. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's what do are, it. what are some good what are some good ones to buy? I like Solana. Should I buy I some to... Doge? No. Why? Because that's like a shit coin. So. Eh, not my not my Shiba. Type. Should I buy some Shiba? That's also the same thing. It's just a different kind of dog. <laughs> just is it Shiba. You should buy some NFTs. Why? No, I have like a little bit of money in the Robin Hood to just buy some garbage. I'm slowly. Uh, what about A A? What is A A V E? Yeah. What is A A V E? Uh, Avi or something. I don't know. I think it's on the Solano oh. chain. All right, I just bought some. Interesting. So, um, I don't know why, but cool. You don't know why? Yeah. Uh, let's see. DocuSign. No. What's DocuSign at? Docu? They're down, no? Docu, D-O-C. Get earnings, yeah. right? Am I tripping? You are tri- No, you're not tripping. They did have earnings. They did have earnings. Why don't we talk about their earnings today? What the hell? Well, no, they had earnings. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, oh no, yeah, it was yesterday. I don't know why. I had a position on there. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why we didn't talk about it. But they um they let me obviously, check real quick. They let me check, let me check, let me check. They beat on the top and bottom line. They beat on earnings by twenty five percent. But dude, the uh right off Well the, the stock is rallying. The stock is rallying now, but it was right off the number fifty two they hit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Drop out the market, drop forty five. Now yep, we're back now up to 40. Rally. Yeah, that's crazy. Jeez. Yeah, I actually think I, I had a strangle in there. I'm kind of happy I did not. Uh, I took it off. Yeah. Um, that's crazy. Though. Yeah. So, dude, what's happening with Japan? It's negative 2.9. The end. Just have to be your friend. What's happening? They have like negative GDP. They're, the yuan is going to shit. The yen? Um, yeah, sorry. You want to it's down a little bit here. It's been whacked all year. Had a little bit of big rally yesterday. How's the Nakai doing? Nakai? Can we see yeah. the Nakai? Yeah, no, we can't. Not in tasty. But um, on CNBC, the Nakai is down one and a half, one more than one and a half percent in the, in their trading. Um, I guess it was yeah. today. Um, down again, dude. I know it's gotten whacked. It was whacked yesterday too. Yeah, um, it's been getting whacked all week. Yeah, it's been down quite a bit all week. Um, so, interestingly, all right, let's go. Final thoughts here into next week. What are we thinking? Up, down. So let's look. Like as of now, what did we say? I think we said we were gonna be. What did you say last week? I think you said you were gonna be up a little bit. Dude, I said we were gonna be up yesterday. No, I'm and saying last today. week, last Friday when we streamed. Did you say we were gonna be up in the week or down? I mean, I think we said down, but who knows. I think it's set it down and we are up in the week a little bit. What yeah. are we thinking next week with the Fed? With the Fed, are we thinking up or down? Yeah, I think we're gonna go up, like a like an MF. Like, like. Uh, so I'm gonna maybe, say I'm gonna say we're gonna end flat. Next no. Week. I'm long in at 69 trading via options on 6J. Long in at 69, 6J. Yeah, yeah. That's He's the, dabbling in some yen. Okay. Okay. Some yen. Okay. Uh, men of foreign currency over here, but I don't know, dude. I might go along. I did be, um, I'll probably post that on Twitter if I do. I just want to pull back before I can enter in, yeah. But um, I do all right, so I say help. flat, I say flat, I say, I say we don't move on the Fed, I say we move crazy on the Fed, okay, fine. So there, maybe there you some battles if you're at the money, if you're thinking so, but. Yeah. Um, all cool. right, we'll see you guys. I don't know what time we're going to stream next week because I know you have. Uh, yeah, we'll some, have some different times next we'll week. We'll post it on Twitter. We'll t- post it on Twitter when, we're, when yeah. we're streaming. But thanks, Brandon, for joining today. Um, we'll see you guys next week, Thursday, Friday, most likely. And uh, we'll see yeah. what happens with the Fed. Of course, everyone. See you guys. Peace. Have- Ooh.